Hey guys, it's Michael here from MTG and more. Normally you would have seen something else laying here, but this time we're going to talk about a painting tutorial about how to paint stone. Um, I know that a lot of people already know how to paint stone, but for the people who don't, this is a beginner's guide. And I think the, the, the result is actually pretty good. So I am going to show you today with just a couple of paints how to turn this black thing which is pretty nice by itself but it's well it's a bit black into something like this of course you can't paint the grass on it because it's static grass but yeah so this is what I'm going to show you how that actually works I'm going to be speeding up some uh, some parts of the uh, of the adventure and I'm going to uh, show you the end result in just a couple of minutes so bear with me here we go what you need to have this turn into that is I use Vallejo paint is the cold gray for the first coat and then the stone wool gray for the lighter coat and that is basically it so you just need those two and then of course you need your uh, static grass, grass, grass. Of course you also need your trustworthy water to wipe it off. So when looking at the uh, brushes, I use a really big dry brush. Almost killed it a couple of times. Now there's even some dust in it, but you can use this as a perfect dry brush. And then you just need the detail brush for uh, or the base coat brush just for the separate stones. So here we go. I might speed up a bit uh, in the meantime because you don't want to see the whole adventure. You just want to see me dry brushing and that's it. Compared to a lot of people I don't use watered down uh, paint because I really dislike the watered down paint. Also use a good bit of towel because dry brushing is with a dry brush so here goes for the first two steps just dip your paint in there that you have a reason reasonable amount then as you can see smear in there and wipe it off until you have something like that now you just take your uh, thing that you want to paint stone and just go at it and immediately you can see there is texture building up it's just as easy as I am showing you right now Can you see it it looks pretty awesome already so from now on I'm going to speed up the, uh, the video I hope to see you soon on the other side of this sped up video To uh, paint the insides, you don't need to go really insane on the insides, just just like this. But there is a shadow on it, as you already can see that that it's starting to look really good. So the next step is pretty easy. The next step is the cold gray. See this this little pot again and just paint some of the stones in the same flat color so that means when you see some inconsistencies just like that's very important for that just a little bit of, just like here you just paint that one so you don't need to be all all neat about it there's a stone remember
Now that's done. And well, it basically tells you that you have to wait till it's dry now. And this is the result. Now that we've seen the result, uh, let's go on to the, uh, the next color. And that is the stone wall gray. Smack on a good dab of that stone wall gray. Take your trustworthy huge brush again. And let's give that dome hell. Or at least something that looks like it. Just like I told you in the, in the dry brushing part. Be sure to have some on your brush just like that. And then once again, hit it. Let me just clean that brush. And we're basically done. If you look at these two, these look kind of identical. The only thing it needs now is some little grass. I think these look marvelous. What do you think? Nice weathered domes. Just look at it. Uh, let me see. There we go. I did one a little bit more than the other one. That's weathering, as you can call it. There you go. So, I think the um, the way to put the grass on is just gluing and then dipping the grass in. So I suppose you know what it is and how that works. This is the way how I paint my uh, domes, my uh, cathedrals, my uh, buildings and everything. I do the same thing with wood, just a bright color and a, a less dark color. After that with dry brushing, which is about the same. As long as it's uh, the same color and the same name, so you have forest gray, or in this, way, uh, this case, stonewall gray and uh, cold gray, the result is almost every time the same. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.